Might be a good idea if you know the whole slate of eight. Just, I just thought I'd go ahead and say that, just cause, just, 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 just for the sake of saying it. November the sixth. You've got to get. Look here, folks. I don't give a flying flip if it's raining, sleet, or snow. I don't shovel yourselves out. I, you, you got to get to the pole. Take your mama them, your auntie them. Tay Tay them, Boo Boo them, Ray Ray them, get them all, get all of them to the pole. And if you call us, we will, we will come. We will, I will come and get you soaking wet, pouring down, soggy, I'll be soggy like a piece of light bread and come and get you. That's nasty, but it, it'll work. It'll work. I'm not the only one that had some sugar water out here before. Uh, anyway. November 6th, I'm Oz Nesbitt, I'm your commissioner, I'm always keeping it real. I hope you do the same thing and vote on November 6th. Thank you so much. Thank you, Oz Nesbitt. That's called keeping it real. And as he always says, attitude is everything, and he's got a positive one. At this time, I want to introduce you to this gentleman who has been your incumbent. And like the other incumbents, have served you very, very well here in Rockdale County. But he needs your vote to continue that. At this time, please join me in welcoming your chairman and CEO for Rockdale County, who will continue this along with the rest of the slate of eight to represent you, Mr. Richard Oden. Thank you, Deborah. Good afternoon, everybody. How you doing? How's all my little people doing over here today? Huh? This is my future right there. Those of you who are underemployed, unemployed and displaced, please come to the Rockdale Career Academy on the 12th. We have over 49 employers. Never has happened before in Rockdale County. Come prepared, bring 30 or 40 resumes, and get your hair cut, get your weeds fixed. Ooh. Don't wear no blue jeans. Come dressed and to, to impress and come ready and claim your victory. Hi, I'm here with Deborah Anderson and I am here today and she's going to introduce all the candidates that we have today and I'm, now I'm going to let her talk about what you guys are going to see on today. Definitely. Thank you so much. We just want to appreciate you having us on OTTV so that we can share with those the individuals, those of you who are looking at this right now, what is happening here in Rockdale County, Georgia. My name is Deborah Anderson and I'm with Devon Entertainment. Um, phenomenal company. Can't help. I had to plug that. Yeah. But we are here today with the slate of eight. The Democratic candidates running for office here in Rockdale County. And if you will see, as I like to show them, here you have the slate of eight. They're all united, Democrats united. For the first time in the history of Rockdale County, these candidates have come together in a phenomenal way. They have come together to represent you. They've got a billboard on I-20 letting you know that they're united. They're coming out to the community like today. We're at Meadow Crossing Apartments. Had a great time, a blast. It was a cookout. We registered, well, the slate of eight didn't, but the Democratic Party registered 18, 19, 20-year-old individuals because they need to understand that when they hit 18, the day that you turn 18, you now have the opportunity to allow your voice to be heard. You don't have to wait for mom and dad anymore. You can speak for yourself. So we are here doing that today. Hello, OTTV. My name is Deborah Anderson, and I'd like to introduce you to some, some phenomenal people because we are here in Rockdale County representing the slate of eight. 
it powerful Democratic candidates who are looking for your vote so that they may represent you starting in the year 2013. At this time, I want you to meet some phenomenal young people who spearheaded the effort to get the 18, 19, and 20 year olds out to vote. We need your vote. Your vote is very important and you do have a voice. Once you reach age 18, you can now speak volumes to let people know who you'd like to represent you. Am I right? Yes. yes. So should they get out and vote? And in order to do that, you must make sure you are registered. Make sure you are registered. By October 9th for Rockdale County. Get out and vote. Thank you so much. Thank y'all. The slate of eight, eight Democratic candidates who are the candidates for Rockdale County. I want you to meet somebody who's near and dear to my heart. This gentleman is the incumbent chairman and CEO for Rockdale County. He has represented the county very well, and he's looking forward to going forward for you to represent you ongoing. Chairman Richard A. Oden. Chairman Oden, how are you? I'm doing great, Deborah. How are you doing today? Doing very well. Super. I tell you, this has been an awesome day today. This is a great day to be alive. It's a great day to be on earth. And I tell you, every day is a great day. When I wake up in the morning, I get breath of life, nothing else matters, the rest is just stuff. You just saw an outstanding group of young young 18-year-olds who have energized our community along with the slate of eight. I can tell you, we're, there's no stopping us now. We're moving forward. I am so proud to be a member of the State of Eight and to live in Rockdale County as we move forward. We got some exciting news coming down the pipe, Deborah. We're going to be doing a lot of different things here, but we're going to begin with on October 12th. And Commissioner Neff is going to bring that back to you. On October 12th, he's going to talk about the Career Academy. We're going to talk about the, the also we're going to talk about the Career Expo. He's going to bring more information to you about that. But ladies and gentlemen, it's important to realize on that ballot to please go all the way down the ballot. And there's two questions on that ballot. Read those questions, understand those questions. So Deborah, yes. I just want to share that with you. I don't want to take all the time. Well, Chairman, let me ask you this though. If nothing else, what would you want the citizens of Rockdale County to understand that you intend to do for them going forward? You know, we will continue to uh, move our county forward in terms of jobs. Uh, we will continue to make sure that we want uh, we, we, we have an emerging industry coming to Rodale County. We're going to be looking at the life science programs, also the bioscience and biomedical programs. But we cannot get for those skills jobs, the heat and air condition, the manufacturing jobs in terms of plumbing, in terms of AutoCAD, Cisco certification. We want all of our folks to be prepared and ready to go so there's an opportunity here because in a few years, Baxter is coming to this area and we want to make sure our workforce is ready to go, so we encourage everyone to get those certificates, get those education, get those degrees, because it's very, very important. That's what we're going to be doing in the future, thank Deborah. Thank you, Chairman Alden. And so I want to say thank you for allowing me yes. to come here today and speak with you and to feed all these young folks out here. We're so happy about this. It's a good day. It's a good day. Thank you very much. Thank you. Adios. We're here with the gentleman who's our incumbent for Rockdale County, our post one commissioner. And anybody who knows this phenomenal man will tell you, his motto is attitude is everything. And he has the attitude to prove it. Powerful gentleman, Mr. Oz Nesbitt. Mr. Nesbitt. Thank you so much, Deborah. You're absolutely right. Attitude is everything. And the attitude I have is making certain that we get President Barack Obama re-elected on yes. November the 6th. Yes. I, this thing is real. We can't take it for granted. We've got to get people out to the polls. We've got to get people to the polls early this time. Folks have to go out. The number one thing on jobs to, on, on the minds of folks throughout Rockdale County and all over the country is how we can get people back to work. Yes. We've got to get people back to work. Yes. And that includes the residents of Rockdale County. Before I concern myself with folks anywhere else, I'm taking care of home. So I'm encouraging you to come out. You heard the chairman talk about it a little bit earlier. On October the 12th, that's right, Friday, October the 12th, over at the Rockdale Career Academy on Parker Road, we want you to be there, dressed to impress, have your uh, resume in tow, make sure that you get groomed up, come expecting an opportunity for employment. That's on October the 12th, over at the Rockdale Career Academy from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. 
Again, that's from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. over at the Rockdale Career Academy. If you're looking for employment, you're, you're looking for an opportunity to be employed, to be gainfully employed, we're encouraging you to get out. But we're also encouraging you, if you've not had an opportunity to get registered to vote, to become a registered voter, register to vote. You've already heard that other man talking about the 47%. I'm a part of the 47% and I matter. I hope you matter as well and you're going to be able to tell us how much you matter by voting. If you want a job, if you want to make a change, get out and vote. And we're telling you folks, get out and vote early. Uh, they're predicting rain. It doesn't, I don't care whether it rains, sleet or snow, nothing's going to stop me and my household from getting to the polls and voting. So I'm telling you, come hell or high water, I'm going to vote. I hope you will too. I'm Oz Nesbitt. Your commissioner, I'm looking to see you at the poll. Let's do what we need to do November 6th. I want to introduce you to another phenomenal candidate. This gentleman is our next sheriff for Rockdale County. We can't win. He's a part of the slate of eight, Mr. Eric Levitt. Thank you so much, Deborah. Thank you all for uh, allowing us to come and talk to you about our plans for Rockdale County, our residents of Rockdale County. I'm so excited about being able to now step up in the world, step up in the uh, political world. But again, I'm Eric Lever, running to be the next sheriff of Rockdale County. I am looking to forward to new level of service for all citizens of Rockdale County, including the visitors that visit here, and then most importantly, the deputies of Rockdale County. Now, my one of my biggest issues of Rockdale County is making sure that we provide the top safety for you and for everyone that visit here. Again, my platform is uh, safety accountability and professionalism and that is what I plan to bring to Rockdale County. It's not about the experience, it's about the ideas that we have for Rockdale County and it's about the ideas that will be measurable that we can do and that we will do. So I'm looking forward to invite you to the polls, to call us if you need ride to the, rise to the polls or whatever we need to do to get you to the polls or whatever we need to do to earn your support and vote. You can call us by phone if you have questions or concerns that we need to clear up. You can visit our website it'll tell you a little bit more about us. But again, please, whatever you do, get out and vote. Don't wait till the last minute if you don't have to, which is November the 6th. Come on out October the 15th through November the 2nd and vote. Again, I'm Eric Levitt, running to be your next sheriff of Rockdale County. Thank you so much. We're continuing on with the slate of eight. Phenomenal Democratic candidates getting ready to represent Rockdale County in the best way that Rockdale can be represented. I have with me right now our next tax commissioner. This is Mr. R.J. Hadley, and I'm so excited. This young man is going to take Rockdale County to levels they've never gone to before with the, as a tax commissioner. Mr. Hadley. Thank you so much for having me out to do this. Uh, you know, it's very important for Rockdale to come out for the slate of eight. Yeah, I'm running for tax commissioner, and fine, I can do the job, I'm not, I'm not really worried about that. This is about inspiring the people, inspiring Rockdale County to come out and support these great candidates. October 15th, early voting, we're really pushing for that, and, and November 6th, we're going to get our president back in, and we're going to get all eight of these great candidates in. And with the tax commissioner's office, I'm going to make sure that we are being efficient, that we are being organized and proactive out in the community, monthly town halls, cross training with our staff, you know, so people can get in and out, you know. We, we, we want to do our civic duty, but we want to do it in a prompt and efficient way, and that's what we're going to talk about. And I'm looking forward to bringing my technology skills so that we can take the office to the next level and, and use that smartphone technology. So this is going to be a great year, great, very exciting, so get ready, hold on. And we're going to do it. Slate of it. Slate of it. All right. Thank you, Mr. Hadley. Thank you. OTTV, we've got another phenomenal incumbent who has represented Rockdale County very well since 2009. She's our clerk of court. It just doesn't get any better than this lady. This is Miss Ruth A. Wilson, and she will continue to be our clerk of court. Ruth? Hello, everybody. I want you to know how much we appreciate your time and attention. Uh, with regard to the elections coming up in November. Number one, we must re-elect our president, Barack yes. Obama. Yes. What a wonderful man he is, what a wonderful role model he is, and inspiration to young people all over this country, especially those in our community. We have an obligation to get to the polls and get our president re-elected. 
at the same time. He needs backup on a local level. That's where your local officials come in to play. Please remember to vote the slate of eight. Don't wait on the slate of eight. Start October the 15th, vote early. Don't wait till November the 6th. Anything can happen. So please, get yourself together, take a neighbor, take a friend, find someone who is not able to drive. Make sure they get a mail-in ballot. If they're not able to get the mail-in ballot, you drive them to the polls. Yes. Make sure. We have a tremendous turnout on Election Day 2012. Thank you so much for your support. We look forward to seeing you at the polls. OTTV, we've got the Slate of Eight still coming to you and representing very well here at Meadow Crossing Apartments where we have just had a phenomenal cookout with the residents and the neighbors, had a great time. And this gentleman, oh, I can say so many things about this powerful man. First of all, he and his family came together and set everything up with the grill and just had it going for the residents here today. He is working hard for your vote, Rockdale County. He will be our next probate judge, Mr. Charles Mays. Welcome, Mr. Mays, to OTTV. Let them know what you're going to be doing. Thank you. We uh, look forward to working hard for you, uh, bringing you uh, information about the uh, Office of Probate. We plan to e educate the people. I know you talked about going out to the community right. and reaching them where they are because currently in the probate court, a lot of people don't know who the incumbent is. But they're going to know Mr. Mays because aren't you planning to go out and do um, education formats for the probate court? Right. We, we're going to have uh, educational forms. We're going to introduce people to uh, guardianships, to uh, the reason that it's necessary to have a will, and uh, how you can avoid going through probate if you have certain things in place. So we look forward to doing all of those things yeah. and informing you on uh, how you can get a gun permit or how you can go about starting the process for your marriage license without having to go into the probate office. And then we're also looking forward to building a web page. Right now, they don't have a web page for our Rockdale County, except for the uh, web page that the county has. So, exactly. You can download forms, you can download information. Uh, we're going to build brochures telling you all about the process. So we look forward to doing so many things for you. And the only way that we can get there is if you vote for me and vote for the Slate of Eight yes. on November 6th. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Mays. <laughs> thank you. I just want to say thank you very much for having us here today. Again, I'm Deborah Anderson. And as you can see, you have the Slate of Eight. Richard Oden, Oz Nesbitt, Ruth Wilson, Finia Aten, R.J. Hadley, Eric Levitt, George Levitt, and Charles Mays. Miss Aten and George Levitt were not able to be here at this time. They had to leave a little early to do some work. But Miss Aten is running for Chief Magistrate Judge, and Mr. George Levitt is running to be your next coroner here in Rockdale County. I just can't thank you enough for having us. And remember, vote the slate of it. You cannot wait. Early voting starts October 15th. You must be registered to vote by October 9th. And if all else fails, just make sure you vote for the slate of eight come November 6th of this year. Elect President Barack Obama and vote for and elect the slate of eight here in Rockdale County. I want to thank you very much for joining us. Again, this is OTTV, Tabitha the Hunter, and remember, OTTV, we carry the whole story, not just a little bit, but the whole story. Again, you're watching OTTV. Thank you.